The Burial of Jesus Then because it was the day of preparation, so that the bodies should not stay on the crosses on the Sabbath, for that Sabbath was an especially important one. The Jewish leaders asked Pilate to have the victim's legs broken and the bodies taken down. So the soldiers came and broke the legs of the two men who had been crucified with Jesus, first the one and then the other. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one of the soldiers pierced him in the side with a spear, and blood and water flowed out immediately. For these things happened so that the scriptures would be fulfilled. Not a bone of his will be broken. And again, another scripture says, They will look on the one he had pierced. Now when evening had already come, since it was the day of preparation, that is the day before the Sabbath, Joseph of Arimathea, a highly regarded member of the council, who was looking forward to the kingdom of God, went boldly to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Pilate was surprised. Jesus was already dead. He called the centurion and asked whether he had been dead for some time. When Pilate was informed by the centurion, he gave the body to Joseph. Nicodemus, the man who previously came to Jesus at night, accompanied Joseph carrying a mixture of myrrh and aloes weighing about 75 pounds. They took Jesus' body and wrapped it with the aromatic spices in strips of linen according to Jewish burial custom. where Jesus was crucified, there was a garden, and in the garden was a new tomb where no one had yet been buried. And so, because it was the Jewish day of preparation, and the tomb was nearby, they placed Jesus' body there. Lord God, on the Sabbath, Jesus rested. He was in the grave. He had finished his work. To most people's eyes, it looked as if it were all over. He was dead and buried. But only as a seed dies when it was planted in the earth, not to decay, but to spring to new life. Teach us to take refuge in you when we are afraid. Teach us that death is not our end. Teach us to hope always in you and in the resurrection, the making of all things new, 
through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.